Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beard Venture. And I'm Lunchbox. And this episode, it's Space Camper by Boulevard. Space Camper? Can I camp in space? Uh, I think. I think that sounds like so much fun. You just float. Mm. Okay. This is Boulevard's Juicy IPA. It's a 5.9. And judging by what I saw when I looked it up and what I see on here, uh, this one's going to be a little more citrusy and juicy than piney, which he doesn't like the piney ones. Yeah, I, so. I don't like the super strong IPA. I, I don't like getting punched in the mouth. I, I, well, it's not my thing. You know, um, I observe the mosh pit. <laughs> right. Um, so I, I've had lots and lots of really good stuff from Boulevard. Bust into it, baby. So let's... And this is the one I'm going to want to take a big mouthful of, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I got to remember to do good. that when I drink my IPAs is to take a big mouthful and hold it and then swish. Um, Let's see if I can get a good hit. I'm he gonna... said because the less oxygen that's in your mouth to react with the yeah. uh, spices that are in the IPA. Mm -hmm. um, more oxygen, more flavor. Less oxygen, less flavor. You know what? It worked. I'm going to try it again. All right. All right. It's got a nice bubbly head, like lots of carbonation. Damn, that smells good. It's kind of, uh, that is hazy. Mm -hmm. It's not condensation on the glass. Um, huh. Don't that smell good? Okay, it's kind of piney, but not like a forest piney, but it is a lot of like lemon citrusy right, flavor. All right, again, I'm going to tell you a smell that you smell, but once I tell you about it is when you'll smell Hold it. Hold on. Hold on. Do you smell pineapple? Maybe. I, I thought that was just the citrusy part, but it might be actual. I smell pineapple. That's kind of neat. Did y'all do that with the pine and the citrus? I don't know, but I, I'm going in. You going in? I'm going in. Big gulp. Oh man, that's good. I like that a lot. Okay. That is a very mellow, well-balanced IPA. It didn't punch me in the mouth. Right. But it's kind of spicy on the tongue. Mm -hmm. After it goes away, that's kind of neat. Um, it's not like overpowering hot spicy, but it's that little tingle. Um, I'm, I'm sure if we'd done a lot of research. There's, there's a lot of lemon in that. Yeah. Like a lot of citrus flavor. I think if we'd have done a lot of research, I could probably tell you which uh, hops are in it. But, oh, just wanted to drink the beer. It's not bad, man. I'm not an IPA fan, but you know what? I might actually muscle my way through that one. Yeah, this one's... This one's not over the top like a lot of the hipster IPAs are. Um, this yeah. is a very drinkable IPA. I tread lightly into the IPA market. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan, so I I haven't picked them out. This is something that I noticed this this trip. I've tried everything else with you. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nothing left but the IPAs because I, I got to pick six and half of them are IPAs. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was just picking the ones that I haven't tried before, and now I've narrowed it down to just the IPAs. I've done everything else. Well, unfortunately, in our market right now, uh, there's we're a little oversaturated on the IPAs. They're hot, man. Yeah. But this, this everybody beer, with a beard wants one. <laughs> this beer has a lot of citrus notes, and it is kind of juicy. I've had a, some that are a lot juicier, and one of the juicy was those ones that, that get you in the back, get to the salivary glands going. Um, but you know, this is a very mild, mellow IPA. It's got a decent little hop, but it has enough malt. To kind of set a decent foundation for you. The mellow drink wasn't too bad. Yeah. I didn't take a big one that time, and it and it wasn't overpowering. I mean... So, maybe I'm learning. Maybe I, maybe my, my palate is becoming more sophisticated as it is attuned to all the flavors. Yeah. Maybe. But, or maybe you're just getting used to shit. I don't know. I think you're probably learning to appreciate more things. Uh, yeah, that's it. Now, part of that on this one, like I said is it's got, this is a very well-rounded beer. Um, it doesn't have 
that overly piney, dank aftertaste. That's what turns a lot of people off from this, an IPA. This has a it. really juicy aftertaste. Yes. It almost tastes like lemonade when you drink it, but then it doesn't dry away like lemonade does. It's like it sticks around like a good drink does. Honestly, as weird as it come down to, i kind of been on a little bit of a shandy kick lately, and I could see making a shandy with this. I think that might be interesting. Hey. I don't know. Um, a, a, a shandy that's, that's juicy? Yeah. Nice. So, got any crafty ones out there? Tell us how you do it down there in the comments. While you're down there, Hit that like button if you liked this video. Go ahead and subscribe to this guy because we do this two or three times a week. Three minimum. Um, three minimum. Three. He's claiming three. Okay, three. Monday, well, Wednesday, Friday. That's that's his. There you go. Three times a week, he will deliver you beer videos, and we will tell you what you what we think of these beers. And you tell us what you think down in the comments. That's right. So let's get down to it. Uh, did you dig it? I did, man. I really did, and I didn't want to dig an IPA, but you know what? I have to say that they did a good job. I really good job. I'm right with you. I really like this. Uh, this is very enjoyable. Um, I could even elevate this one to uh, shower beer status. Wow, an IPA in the yeah, shower beer. Dude, territory. I've done two or three IPA. You know, I will drink whatever when it comes That's down to it. Something. I could get a six pack of this, and uh, you know. Drink one of these in the shower. This is nice. Uh, I would, I would have another. I'm, I'm very interested in having more of these, and I would also say that this is highly pick six worthy. I'm gonna probably buy a six pack of this. Well, that's what, what I did. I put it in a pick six. Yeah. Um, like I said, I went and looked for things that I hadn't tried before. It wound up with half IPAs. This was one of them. And I'm gonna tell you, uh, beer manufacturers out there, if, if, if you're in the market to get me to buy your beer, put space on it. <laughs> yeah, if, if you put anything space related, <laughs> I'm all about you know outer space. So yeah, the, the last one, we another one we tried tonight was the, the Space Bird. So yeah, if you put space on it, yeah, Space Dust, Space Bird, Space Camper. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm gonna buy buying all the ones that can name space. Yeah, okay. I love it. <laughs> Keep it all up. Right. So, in a 1 to 10... And you know what? Out of all the ones I've had, I didn't really hate any of them. Right. <laughs> and the name really didn't have anything to do with it. It was just, y'all make good beer, so... Okay. So, 1 pint to 10 pints. Really? 1 is the lowest. 10 is the highest. <sighs> Man, that's an 8 all day long. I'm, and out of an IPA, I, I can't I'm right believe I'm doing that with, it, with an IPA, but... Completely um, right there. I'm really saying that not, not only because of my personal preference, but I can see how that's a well-crafted IPA. You know, so I have to I have to consider that that was their target, and I think they hit it very. Well, you know, I I think they made a fantastic beer. This Dead beer. on. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I would really like to do is I want to try this on draft. I bet this is a beast on draft. I can see that. No, I don't think I'm going to get it anywhere near here. I'm going to have. To I'll let it. you do that because I'm thinking that it would be a little bit stronger on draft. That's why I want. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. I'll let him do that. <laughs> well, there if you know a place that has it on draft, down there in the comments, just tell yeah. us. Who knows? I might be near there. Right. But uh, until your next beer adventure, and this was one, cheers. cheers.